hello you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another foundation friday if you're new here i review a foundation every single friday for you we wear test it give you a first impression a final review i try to wear it as long as humanly possible without um you know just completely crying for my skin <laughs> but just so i can give you a really true review on how a foundation wears and how um it feels on my skin so today we're trying out a new brand i've tried their skincare before but i've not tried their color products so we have the ski nn skin foundation it's the scientific color power perfect foundation plus concealer foundation I have three of them right here for you, and I'm going to review them, but let's first figure out which shade matches me the best. So we have light, fair, and neutral. All right, so we're gonna start with the lightest shade that I have. This is fair. How's it gonna open? Oh, it's like a, a concealer kind of like applicator. That makes my life a lot easier. Okay, here is shade fair. This is shade light. The final shade that I have is neutral. Oh, see? I like that shade. So here are the shades. We have light all the way over here. We have fair and then we have neutral. I'm kind of pulled towards these two shades right here in regards to undertone. I do think that fair is going to be way too light and I think that um, neutral is going to be possibly a smidge too dark. So we're gonna mix both of them together. You guys know it, I always mix my foundation. It's just, it's just something that I do. We're gonna use fair and we're gonna use neutral. They seem a little bit more on the neutral side for my skin tone, whereas I think fair is gonna, uh, light is gonna pull a little bit yellow on me. So let's mix those together and let's try this foundation. It's feeling like a super thick foundation for me, so I'm just gonna kind of blend. Look at how much coverage that is. Whoa, baby. Wow, I don't know the last time that I've used a foundation this full coverage, actually. Me questioning my life's decisions right now as I apply this. Actually, good thing that I applied it in the places that light and like dark would go because it actually stayed. <laughs> I don't hate it though. <laughs> Let me just get that straight. I don't hate it, but it would not be a foundation that I would wear. Oh my God, I don't even know if it's a foundation that I would like wear to leave my house. It's so full coverage. All right, let me see if I can like do something with this to kind of um, take any excess foundation off. I'm gonna grab a beauty blender and I'm gonna grab one that's not, um, actually, no, I'm gonna get it a little damp. Just a little, just a shmeech. Just to kind of blend it out, I want it to soak up anything that's like not really sitting on my skin on my primers look you can already see wow i was not you know i read on the, on the box that it was a uh, foundation plus concealer but i did not think that it was going to be this full coverage comment below and let me know what the most full coverage foundation is that you have ever tried on your face or anybody has ever put on your face before because i think i'm giving I'm saying this one. All right, here is the finished foundation. Whoa, all I really can say is whoa. Um, the, it's so full coverage. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like, I don't like the finish of it, but I, I, again, I, it's like, how much can I ask for? Because I feel like the coverage is not gonna be, like it's not like it's not gonna look like your skin. Um, my only concern would just be how the, how is this going to sit on my skin for the day? And I pray that it's not going to sit and get cakey. I hope that it's just gonna stay looking exactly like this. So uh, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like, but I am like in shock right now. I can't believe how full coverage this is. All right, you guys, here is the foundation all on my face. <sighs> okay, it is so full coverage. It's so full coverage and heavy that it's like, it's not, he like it doesn't feel heavy. It just 
looked heavy and you can see that like on my forehead you're starting to see like where like I have the two forehead wrinkles are coming in but it's also creasing around my mouth which really doesn't ever happen I did spray a little bit of MAC fix plus which is always my go-to when a foundation is looking really dry or you've put too much powder on or um, it feels dry I feel like MAC fix plus really kind of brings everything together and I have to be realistic here if I was putting on this foundation without the review I would be using that um, either way I usually don't like to use setting sprays in foundation reviews but I really feel like this one needed it to kind of bring it back to earth here bring it back to like skin like texture but it's heavy nonetheless it's heavy it is giving really really good coverage it does look very flawless besides those little areas I would say if you're gonna wear this oily or dry skin you you have to put a really good moisturizer on and underneath it and a really good primer as well. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup fully. I'm gonna show it to you and then we're gonna go about my day. I'm going to the mall today. I have a lot of things to do today. Not sure how long I'll keep this foundation on for, but I'm gonna try to keep it on as long as possible and give you guys the review as this sits on my face. Cause honestly, I'm very interested to see how it does because like I said I have not put on a full cover foundation like this in a very long time all right guys I'm back here's the makeup all completed as I was doing this makeup for my eyes I kind of was leaning my hand against my cheek a lot where like makeup would keep coming off right here and it's still like on but I just want to point that out because I feel like that could be really bad if we're wearing white or if we're just doing anything just like don't let anyone touch your face if you're gonna try this foundation <laughs> it's still like it still is looking good it hasn't really like moved in any of the areas that we were worried about before so the forehead and around the mouth area like it's not really getting any worse it definitely didn't get better but it's not getting any worse it still is a little a little thick and a little cakey in those two areas but overall it does look really good but again it's so full coverage like it covers every single blemish on my face for sure for sure it doesn't really feel heavy but i know that that the whole it coming off of my hand is definitely going to bother me so i'm uh either gonna stay in this or i'm gonna wear something where you just I'm gonna wear something the color of my skin so you can't see the foundation come off if it does. But I'll update you as we go along the throughout the day and we're gonna see how much longer this is gonna last and hopefully it doesn't just completely come off my face. <laughs> get oily it just looks thick I really don't think it looks bad it's just a heavy foundation hello 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 okay this foundation is giving me my fucking pimple <laughs> you guys I I'm actually like impressed with this foundation. I really am. I will say that if I touch my face right now, it's coming off of my face. But it's interesting because the entire time I was doing my liner, every time I scratched my face, every time anything or something touched my face, this comes literally right off on my fingers. But I think that this foundation, like you can see it right like on my fingers like this foundation is so thick that it doesn't matter how many times i touch my face and i'm talking about like more of like a light touch not like a, a punch in the face or like a rub or anything like that but every single time i touch my face by accident purposely whatever it was foundation came off but it like it didn't it didn't move like it didn't go anywhere like i can confidently tell you i've had my i had my hand here while I was doing this liner and it just still stayed put where it is um but it did come off like on my hands you can see it like on like there's piece parts of my clothes where like I would wipe it off like on this this poor this poor outfit here <laughs> so it did come off but like it didn't move like from my face does that make sense so overall like I'm actually really impressed with the wear 
on this foundation like on my face it definitely pulled more oily on me um it didn't really end up looking cakey like it just looks really good it just kind of pulled really oily any foundation that i've ever tried where i kind of immediately get a pimple from keeping it on all day is usually a foundation that's either been kind of sitting around for a while and it's probably probably needs to be thrown out or it's a foundation that's super super heavy kind of similar to this one where my skin just like can't take it anymore so this is like a pimple that'll probably go away after like cleansing my face and it'll go away in like 24 48 hours thank god but <laughs> but um overall like this foundation i am really like i'm like pretty happy with it i would definitely recommend it if you are looking for something that is extremely full coverage this is definitely going to be your foundation it didn't feel very heavy on my skin throughout the day so that's not really anything to worry about i don't know how this foundation would last on someone with super dry skin again my skin is combination but does pull more oily usually at the end of the day with a foundation and i kind of just want to see if it's gonna if it's gonna pull dry then we really get a problem if it's gonna pull super oily then we really have a problem but this one kind of just did what most foundations are going to do after being worn on my skin at least for most of the day it's i mean one o'clock now and we've had this foundation on we put this on around like 11 12 o'clock today so we've had it on for a solid like half a day if not more and i was leaving the house i was in the house i was doing this makeup we were kind of all over the place so i'm pretty happy with it I want to know what you guys think about this foundation and if you've had a chance to try it yourself leave your comments below but i'm giving this one a thumbs up would i wear it again if i needed something super super full coverage or if it was kind of just like in my vicinity here yes would i wear it out personally to go out probably not just because it's not my cup of tea or cup of foundation <laughs> bottle of foundation if you will because of how heavy it heavy it is but it would be a foundation that i would recommend if someone's looking for the most full coverage foundation i've ever tried that works really well and i would definitely say this is this is it so that's all i have for this review for today thank you guys so much for tuning into this foundation friday as always every friday we do a foundation review and wear test and i'll let you know which foundation you should be wearing foundations i like which foundations i don't like and giving you just all the details on your favorite and least favorite and new and old foundations all right guys i will see you next friday for another foundation friday